Alright, um, we're at accounting principles document nine, um, second volume two, uh, final report, 1987, chapter seven, uh, asset valuation related expense principle. Statement as assets should be value, valued at either the value of resource foregone and either the required asset, the government accounting uh, principal cost, the current market value, depending on the regulatory application of the method of valuing assets, and each of the applications should be determined the casualty principal, the, where the government accounting uh, auditing principal cause responsible cannot be viewed, but the meaningful regulatory measure of the value of the measure of value may be used. Explanation valuation asset, assets, but the integral part of the determining the cost of the railroad related activities, you with the determining of the movement of the cost, then result with the uh, operation of the re or return of the investment. The, as the asset valuation important, the element value, virtually all regulatory application becomes as it forms the basis of me, um, me measuring the amount of value, value resource to detect with expending with the railroad re related activity. The asset valuation serve as the basis, calculation, return of the investment, and form depreciation, expansion for the end, the return of the investment in the form of the capital ca cost of the capital. The calculation of each of the apply with the specific um, movements and um, as well as the entity as a whole, the railroad accounting principle board concludes that no single asset valuation method appropriation for all regulatory applications, different time orientation, specific regulatory applications require different valuation methods, additional practical pro um, problems associated with the current cer certain valuation methods to preclude that they're using a certain regulatory application. The principle therefore represents the framework selecting the appropriate evaluation method of the basis on each of the specific regulatory application time orientation. Orientation. The casualty principle identifies on how time orientation influences the determination of asset valuation method. See page 10. The Railroad Accounting Principle Board considers the five issues related to the asset valuation, time orientation, valuation method, deferred tax credits, and investment based on the appropriate historical cost method, depreciation, accounting, reinstate, restatement over the track assets, and excess of access assets and write downs. Or your time orientation valuation method, the alternative of the railroad, railroad account principle board serves the alternative method of valuing the asset that classified into two broad categories, historical cost and current market value. The historical cost category acquisition predecessor cost with the two alternatives considered for the current market the value of the category of the reproduction cost, replacement cost, and net liquidation value where the alternatives considered historic cost of the um, measure for the asset value with the monetary value with the resource that the sacrifice acquired for the asset, the asset acquisition cost amortized with the estimated useful life of the railroad Related service of net investment is an asset of the asset value to reduce the cumulative accounts. Armatized the three methods of measuring historical costs are compared on the page 45. Reproduction cost is the current market value of the identical at the same use of the condition. It represents the interest of the value, but the firm would pay for the purchase of the asset at the use of today. Um, market value is may estimated with either use of the direct quotations and the observation price of price and indices. Indexes is and use assets. Um, replacement cost. Replacement cost of the current market value best is as available. Use they assume the function of the existing assets. Replacement existing say service potential with replacement cost the value of the assessed value of the operating the expense must be adjusted for the account and change for the operation advantage of the replacement cost must be used to either the direct quotations or indices indexes of the new asset price. Net liquidation a level the NLV their net liquidation value is not. Um, reasonable proceeding with the ordinary disposition of asset to the existing value with represents the funding available other investment opportunities and that liquidation value may be estimated either by the use of the direct observation and independent appraisal Analysis of an alternative that is noted with a single valuation methodology appropriation regulatory application. However, the argumentation supports each of the methods presented with the select the appropriate validation method described in the specific regulatory application section of the chapter in part two of this volume. The argumentation regulated with the alternative valuation method of the seven categories practi practicality, ver verifiability, objective, the opportunity, and the cost measure, compensation, price level changes, capital requirements, simulated, uh, simulated competitive markets, and predictability. Practicality and for certain regulatory applications for revenue, added requisite in the government pur purposing cost, general purpose cost system, historical cost is practical for the current market value with the historical cost um, prepared presently with financial um, reporting per purpose that is readily available. The current market value methods require preparation of comp comp computation with additional information with either one not feasible or, feasible, or two not cost effective, no co not enough with cost effective to obtain the entire entity. 
Um, further, there's certain other uh, other regulatory applications such as maximum rate, preceding abandonment, surcharge of the preceding minimum rate, and preceding the current cost of the firm are more practical. General preparing additional analysis to actually for these applications in particular because the only with the portion firm's assets operation would involve description of the feasibility for the cost effectiveness of the consideration follow. Feasibility for the revenue adequacy of the general purpose of the current cost system. Um, the application of the current assets required for the real cost of the capital to be prevented with the double recovery for the price level change of maximum rates competitive with the access proceeding do not require the real cost capital rate to prevent the double recovery because of the price level changes are ex explicitly be included with the discount cash flow or DCF. Method is separate item of the value with which the consider, um, contain, contestable minimum low rate and long canon factors proceeding generally do not require the use. With either the capital, cost capital or asset value. For given level of the risk without regard to the inflation of the real capital um, cost of the capital return of the investor, the real cost of the capital is not observable. The financial markets because of the effect of inflation can only be estimated with the removal of the investor's expectation regarding what the price level change with the nominal observed rates. Although the number, numerous methods of estimating the um, real cost of the capital that has been proposed, no, um, proposed, no, no, no. None, none appear provided with sufficient reliable re results. Chapter 6, page 36. Thus, the calculation of accurate, accurate, stable, real cost capital appears infeasible. Cost effectiveness. Use of the current co asset values requires a certain adjustment to be made, but the additional depreciation expense to perform these adjustments accurate it requires a significant time to expense, and such expenditure is not warranted by every regulatory application. Um, using the replacement cost, they have asset valuation reported operating expenses based on the existing um, assets violates the uh, data integrity casualty principle. The operating expense does not use uh, does not represent the use of the replacement asset. Therefore, do not reflect the casual relationship of the asset used to establish the replacement cost of the best asset available to perform the function of the existing is the asset the best valuable best available presumable and include the improved technology efficient on the other hand with the reported operating expense result for the use of the less productive assets economic accuracy achieved with the adjusting existing operating expenses the income and account with operating efficiency of replacement is to developing an independent expense estimate operating expenses associated with the those assets the adjusting of the assets conserved with the present value with any of the operating advantages except with the certain specific narrow applications of each of these approaches are difficult to develop and troublesome to verify Reproduction of the cost adjustment and existing um, asset value to match the market current market value of the identical asset. Um, market value may be established by the, each of the direct um, observation through the use of the indices for the direct changing values. However, the any wide base of the direct observation must be costly and time consuming. Alternatively, used ind indexes, indices um, must be often suggested with the most commonly efficiently established market value. According to the research, however, the use of indices are the two practical um, purposes of problems. First, application that involve the investment investment base for the categories to assume, this, um, assume that all assets of the investment base are currently used and useful. To extend the investment base includes the access, excess and the underutilized assets and indices applied to the each and higher investment result to the proportional grade of the other uh, over a statement and operating costs of the investment base that occurs in the acquisition costs. All right, second, some um, have the question of the use of the indices of the estimate reproduction cost. Freeman Willis of 1984 noted that the use of the indices pres presently um, implemented frequently measure the cost of new assets, thus they may not properly represent the effects of the technology technological change. All right, with the other two current um, market value with alternative net liquid value, value and the um, wide base fit, um, appears the impractical. The only accurate m method for the net, uh, measuring net liquid value is to estimate the value of each for the asset. Preparing the estimate for the form of the whole pro may prompt the prohibitively costly. However, the application that requires existing value of the specific um, specific railroad asset, the practical purpose problems they may may be less significant. Um, Verifiability and objectivity. Um, the, uh, historically, cost generated with the verifiably objective methods measuring the cost asset, asset for the current cost. The historical cost determined through the support of the transaction is governed by the government accounting auditing principle, well defined set of the principles. You for the current market, the value is generally unless for the verifiable determining depends on the expert of the both subject of the judgment with the prayer for the use of the price level indice, indexes of the adjusting the historical cost of the market value for the one solution of the subject of the concerns. However, the use of the indexes may result in the 
subjective problem associated with their construction and comp 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 compilation of practical problems associated with required adjustment and operating expenses. Additionally, it may be difficult to demonstrate the linkage between them, items used in the construction indexes, and specific assets of the firm are to be adjusted. All right. Opportunity cost measures are um, certain regulatory applications such as abandonment, sur sur surcharge, and maximum rate long can, in fact, decide with the base with whether the activity that is issued is responsible for the comparison of the best alternative to the activity. The best alternative to the activity, the opportunity cost is associated with the decision not to pursue it. Net liquid value represents the most accurate with the asset of the value determining the opportunity of the cost between the representative of the purchaser assessment with the assessing uh, assets economic potential alternative to activity the net liquid value, um, value is effectively determined by the asset of the certain circumstances of the productive capacity assessed in the great demand of the net liquid value um, um, approximately replacement of reproduction in other circumstances such where, where there is no other um, demand with the asset productive ca capacity the net liquid value may represent the Scrap value. Usually, historical cost is constantly constant, constant, a valid estimator of the net liquid value. Compensation of the price level change. Many regulatory, many regulatory applications may object to the presiding of the enterprise for the opportunity to cover. The operation expense for the cost capital to provide with the prudent investment that accomplishes the objectives of the firm must be able to cover through the price decision effects of the price level change, the inflation, and deflation. Asset recovery that may be accomplished with valuing the estimated depreciation charge for the either two methods using current value of the combination with the real of the price level adjustment cost of the capital the historic value of the combination with the current nominal cost of the capital using the current value of the asset combination real cost of capital conceptual are attracted between the producing provides the industrial specified price level change with the degree of the price level change experience when they vary for the industry more with the industry, including the price level change of the asset specific to the industry in place incorporate the specific price level change of the necessary to Provide investment reinvestment assets. Using a historical value of the assets combination with the nominal cost for the capital provides with the general price level change of the general price level changes are implicit portion of the car or nominal cost of the capital rate. The investors are compensated with the general price level change with the cost capital rate. Our capital requirements. I'm arguing with the um, favor the current asset evaluation that will provide with the capital adequate to replace the asset for the uh, enterprise with the augmentation with the underlying the assumption of the funding with the reinvestment must be generated but internally by the any not outside investment can be attractive to the essentially all assets will be replaced for the funds provided by the operation and advance for the replacement for assumption is not valid investor but responsible or is reasonably expected for the uh, earned the competitive return in the such case for the funds can be obtained with the capital replacement. Um, Second assumption appears to be in valid light of the recent, recent significant railroad activity writing down and impaired with the accessing asset write downs and sufficient funds with the provided with the operation with the write down with the railroads. Roads when they be left significantly surplus of the capital to be invested. <laughs> All right, simulated and competitive markets. An argument, an, an argument using the current market value to represent the price constraint with the competitive firm. The competitive firm establishes the upper limit of the price base for the economic cost, including cash capital and experience. For the new entrant, entrant the new firm um, change change charges more. New entrant cost for the new competitors enter the market. The price will drive the driven to a point of the equilibrium and the supplies increase. The simulation of competitive market might often use the identify the for the specific movements of relations specific assets that are not necessary usually regulatory account. Applications practically where they were the object of the different the fact that the could be included certain um, practical considerations is just um, discussed above under um, practicality. All right, predi pre 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 predictive ability. The certain regulatory application permit the applicant action to be taken of the effects of the future provision of the service, the future prices to be changed, charged for the service. Current assets is argued to be the um, better prediction of the cost of the incurred, but the best for the per update, therefore, the better machine future of the price that we're giving the future ex um, expenses. To the extent of the technology, inflation rates measure um, remain reasonable, stable. Uh, historic cost measures also have several accurate predictors and future cost of current asset values. Do not provide better matching of the future price of the future when provided with the expense for the automatically expense reported the subsequent years of the future financial requir reports of the government auditing accounting principle will represent the combination of the existing new assessment and predict the accuracy of the existing either current cost or the historical cost method related to the time requirements of the purchase of the new assets. All technology Technology consists changes associated with the new assets required adjusting them of the operating expense to accurately predict the total effort. Fact. 
deferred tax of the Railroad Accounting Principal Board concluded that the funds provided by the deferred taxes tax have zero economic costs and the um, protection of the railroad assets fund with the deferred tax that they provided with the government non debt holders investors and the government does not charge the interest of the deferred tax loan with quite railroad incur the con capital costs associated with the portion investment based with the uh, deferred tax for um, credit the deferred taxes should therefore be deducted for the as asset basis. By the end of 1984, the deferred tax credit represented the source of the fund of the financial the 16.3 percent with the 53 58 billion total class one railroad assets and path. The interstate commerce has treated the deferred tax credit as having the same weighted average cost for the capital as funds provided with the debt act within December 31st, 1986. The decision ex parte number 393, sub number one, standard of the railroad revenue adequacy in the interstate commerce commission reserve. Reverse its position in the future at inadequacy to determine the election of the treat the deferred tax credit as having zero cost of the capital subtraction with the deferred tax credit from the investment base. Resolving the treatment of the deferred tax, the Railroad Accounting Principal Board considered three questions. Issue of the deferred tax to be recognized. If the tax, if so, what should be occurred with the deferred taxes? What are the methods of deferred taxes taxes should be re reused? Our recognition of the deferred tax of the two methods of the accounting of the deferred taxes that have been proposed the Railroad Accounting Principle Board Comprehensive of the Interior board Period of the Tax all Allocation Method of Required by the Government Accounting Principle Board through the um, flow through the method the Comprehensive of the Interior Period of the Tax Allocation Method of recognizing deferred taxes may be applied with several different ways to follow through a method ignores the deferred taxes entirely includes the limit interior period allocation of expenses so the depreciation all and actual taxes paid by the railroad and reflected in income advocates the comprehensive interior um, period of the uh, allocation method to cite the treatment of the uh of the accumulation of depreciation to ex explain the support of the recognition of the deferred tax expense the tax are based on the income generated as set assets over the useful life the recognition of deferred taxes and attributed to the individual assets appropriate the contingency is ap as applicable to deferred tax of the non different um being used the other areas of accounting to support the contention for the advocated site with the going certain with the concept of the government accounting adding principle accepted with the continuation of the present tax system. The supporting recognition of the deferred tax is support with the fact the individual transaction plan with the light of the, the tax consequent the claim that acquire the benefits expatiated with the depreciation depend as on the customer and flow through the word of or would circumvent in the debate of the Congress and providing uh, an accelerated depreciation finally through the such regulate very recognition of deferred tax to cite with the compliance of the government accounting principle. All right, some of the advocates flow through part of um, point of the income tax result of the tax income with the not net um, no not net book income um, linking the tax expense with the pre tax account with the income result of the pre representation with the economic nature of the income tax and further deferred the tax liability re regula really contingent of the fa future income of the future tax regulation. Railroad Accounting Principal Board, in pursuit of argumentation favor of the conference of an interior period of the tax al al allocation of the work, according to deferred taxes reached for the conclusion of the basis, one, the role of the tax consideration play in the investment decision, two, Congress intent with the stimulated investment, three, the conformance with the government accounted um, auditing principles. On September 2nd, uh, 1986, the fin um, financial uh, auditing state standard, accounting standard, oh, Board issued um, a proposed statement of the financial accounting standard of the accounting of the income tax. The proposed statement of the retaining of the requirement of the competence of the interior period of the tax allocation. Of the proposed statement of how the me would measure the effect of the income tax liability method place for the deferred method currently made required by the accounting principal board. Uh, opinion number 11 accounting for the income tax and the motion for the cumulative income tax statement then will not correspond with the balance state sheet account assessment amounts that have been resolved by the um, accounting principal board. Opinion number 11, even though the, they might be um, in this particular year with another. Uh, as an important difference of the regulatory purpose of the liability method with required immediate adjustment of the deferred tax liability to reflect the effect of the changing tax laws and raised proposed statement would be effective for the financial year beginning on the, after the December 15th, 1987, the permits accompany either restate the previously issued financial statement include the competitive effect of some, applying the statement the net income for the year of the in, interior initial application. Magnitude proposed change was greatly increased with the change of the fe effect of the July 1980s with the federal corporate and corporate change extra date with 46 to 34 percent. The change effect of the deferred tax credit that has been accumulated with the 46 48 or other percent rate, but will be liquidated at 34 percent. 
The Railroad Accounting Principle Board generally includes the deferred taxes computed within accordance with the government accounting auditing principles, including the challenges for the consequently Railroad Accounting Principle Board. Deferred taxes were computed with the regulatory purpose of the proposed statement. When it becomes effective, the Railroad Accounting Principle Board has not, however, considered that the cumulative effect of applying the proposed statement should be treated with the regulatory purpose of the alternative methods proposed the Railroad by the Financial Accounting Standards Board may be not be appropriate the regulatory purpose of the issue of the left of the Interstate Commerce Commission. The cost of deferred tax, the three alternative recognized deferred taxes proposed the Railroad Accounting Principal Board, ultimately method financial method weight of the average equity method, the utility financial method of the, along with the additional um, DCFs a method of disclosed in below. Value of deferred taxes and interest and the free source of the capital the weight of average debt of the equity method implicit value of the company accumulated deferred taxes and the weight of the average cost of debt equity. Advocates of the utility to finance method raised for the three primary judgments. First, Congress intended to stimulate the investment of the permitting the accelerated depreciation to be used for the tax purpose, even though the method for use of the financial report resulting deferral of the tax plan for the government provides for the, for the investment consistent, consistent with the Congress intent. Um, so second, deferring payments without interest. Um, Represent the interest free of the loan of the government, although such a loan cost of the government and is no cost of the railroad any of their new existing computer competitors would have no some similar interest to the free funds available. The competitive market with the competition would force them to the firm to pass on the reduced the capital of the customer. Advocates weighted average of the equity and method raised the primary argu arguments. The first, the Congress intent with the stimulate the best will not be met since the firms will not invest in that they are permitted to earn the return of the funds provided with the deferred tax. The second, investors will compete the markets expect the return, return of return on all assets. Um, Road accounting principle board can, um, included the cumulative deferred tax tax um, tax credit should be treated with a zero of the capital of the competitive market. The firm would not be forced to regulators on the pass of the customer with the benefit of zero interest of the financing. However, the firm must may be complied with the competitive circumstances to pass the benefits of the customer. Or a method of treating deferred taxes um, to, at zero cost. Two alternatives with the recognized deferred taxes and interest of free source of the funds of the financing method of the utility method. Under the financing of the developing industry wide cost for the capital rate adjustment of the recognized and cumulative deferred tax credit, zero cost component of the method would violate the casualty principle because the railroad would do a different mat materially in extent with which they are able to finance investments through the deferred tax credits. All right. Under the utility method, deferred tax credits reduce the eligible investment rate by the cumulative deferred tax credit. The railroad accounting principle concluded the reducing the um, reducing the historical investment based on the applicable deferred tax credits is most um, a practical approach with the revenue adequacy of the government per, 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 um, purchasing cost system. Additional offer uh, alternative to DCF method is use the multiple year analysis. Um, because it does not have account with the uh, reporting the convention and interfere with the allocation and assessing the consumption of the non um, taxes are allocated. The using the DCF method consistent with the utility method since tax since taxes consequently asset the expenditure reduced the net investment of the analysis of the DCF is used the standalone cost. Deferred taxes are always zero since their method only includes the tax actually paid during the life of its investment. Um, one party the uh, urged the Railroad Accounting Board Principal Board to adopt the finance method of abandonment surcharge of the application of reason with the casual principle require the opportunity for the cost of abandonment the surcharge cases reflect the treatment of the deferred tax at zero cost since the Interstate Commerce Commission applied for the pre-tax of the cost capital rate the net liquid value to determine the abandonment surcharge opportunity cost of the cost capital rate should be adjusted with using the financial financing method such as deferred taxes may be reflected as zero. All right, the Railroad Accounting Principal Board rejects the aggregation contrary to the complementary party's assertion. The um, casualty principle would include but the financing method of the specific application no casualty links exist between the deferred tax entry and ent ent entire entry ent or the deferred taxes related to the specific branch of line of asset. The Railroad Accounting Principal believes the prob um, proper treatment of the deferred consistent with the casualty principle the breaking of the tax consequences associated with the specific branch line of asset so the such treatment may be accomplished with adjusting the net liquid the value for the tax consequence of the gain and loss for the disposal of the branch line assets. Uh, this is actually the quite long one. 
Appropriate historical cost method. The railroad accounting principle um, includes the, the, the government accounting um, uh, auditing principle cost um, for the business competi- combination represents the superior method of measuring the economical accurate cost, but then using historical cost methods in business combination qualifies the pooling of the interest in the accounting of the uni- uni- uniting the ownership of the interest of the two more companies ex- exchange equity security. No acquisition recognized between because of the combination of the complex without the disburse, or disbur- disbursing the reason for the Constitution the ownership of the interest that continue with the former basis accounting of the retained with the record assets the liability carried forward with the combined corporation the previously recorded amounts. Business corporation generally treated with the purchase of the accounting with the gas as the acquisition with one of the company acquiring the corporation required the fair market value of the required assets the last liability assumed as the cost that records the assets and with the cost of the acquired company. Over some of the fair market value of the ten- tangible identified with the intangible or assets less of um, liabilities and goodwill. The Interstate Commerce Commission determined the rulemaking of the Government Accounting ag- uh, accounting Principle of the cost determined the proceeding of the re- um, regulatory result in the certain situations. The example of the suppressed overvalued va- market value primarily result of the government action over the regulatory policy and even the other measure for the such purpose of the modification. Are right, your alternatives? The Railroad Accounting Principle Board conserved three alternative measures for the historical cost should be used the acquisition cost, the government accounting auditing principal cost, um, the predecessor cost. The Railroad Accounting Principle um, Principal Board defines the acquisition cost lower than is the aggregated purchase price of the, of the firm, the firm or value of the tangible intangible de- um, intangible asset for the time of the business combination with the success of the aggregated price for the firm over the fire value as assets for the concern with the goodwill not included with the inv- investment base, nor would it, uh, uh, could it be amortized being net operating income. All right, the Government Accounting Principle Board acquisition is defined in the connection with the purchase organization pool entry of the Government Accounting Principle Board book value of the pooling and either narrowed accounting principle with the opinion of the Government Accounting Principle practical alternative to the acquisition term cause that the firm's presently maintaining accurate record of the basic financial statement um, presentation of the analysis below the theoretical arguments favoring acquisition also applies to the Government Accounting Acquisition um, the Government Auditing Accounting Principles except for the business combination treating with the pooling with the government accounting auditing principles, pre- pre- predecessors represent with the cost of the person devoting the pro- 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 property to the public service. Our right, analysts and alternative of the Railroad Accounting Principal Board conserve the following argument, arguments in their selecting with the Railroad Government Accounting Principal Board. Cost economic accuracy, capital attraction, replacement cost, pro- 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 approximation, comparable treatment, windfall earnings, and practical verifiable. Economic accuracy using the acquisition of um, or or the government accounting automating principle cost better represents the economic condition facing the interim prize. There is the predecessor predecessor cost um, um, because of the large share of the industry revenue is determined with the competitive market rather than through the regulation regulatory process. A substantial portion of the railroad traffic is no longer than subject to the Interstate Commerce Commission maximum rate regulation because of the defaults below the jurisdiction threshold and exempt from the movements under the contract implementation when most rates are set by the comp- competition the maximum rate value is asset the basement primary competitive economic conditions of the not- and regulatory processes the use of the pred- pred- predecessor cost has been adopted by but, but, um, most public utility commissions have procured upward downward manipulation asset values however the predecessor's cost is appropriate only if the market value is established predominantly through the regulatory process the market value is determined the regulatory process when the regulatory enterprise sufficient marketplace such as a material portion of the rates influenced by the why, what regulators apply alternatively the market value of the regulators enterprise can be driven to the depressed levels and proper regulation by improper regulation however the supporters of the predecessor cost for the point out would, would be ir- illogical or circular to set the rates based on the acquisition cost base uh, and so doing the rates would be not um, dependent on the value which is determined based on the rates for those of the true the government accounting auditing principal cost would have the used directing relating pro- making regulated enterprise most sufficient for market pay- p- power the rates material effective with the regular regulator allows to consider the large share of the rare Industry revenues determined by 
Competitive markets and the Railroad Accounting Principal um, Board concerned the circular probably unfounded at the time also report, also supports predecessor costs for the lower acquisition value of the primary due to the impact of all the regulations, including the revenue, adequacy, maximum rates, car hire, merger, and etc. Not primarily excessive excess, excess assets to address these concerns. The asset valuation related to the expense principle provides the other measures. Values may be used. The government accounting auditing principle cost reasonable cannot be viewed, meaning full regulatory measures of value. Our capital attraction primarily of the objective of the SRA is to assist the attaining of the revenue at a the, the accomplishment of the objective of the investors must be um, permitted to earn the market return of the investment as long as the investors um, are staggered rail act to assist the railroad in some revenue adequacy. To, um, to the accomplish the objective of the investors must be permitted to earn the market return of the investment as long as the investors can return rate of the return comparable to other market rates um, of the return of the investment comparable um, risk that would come in into the investment uh Use of the government accounting auditing principal cost consistent with the objective of enabling the railroads and even to attract the capital with the replacement of the necessary assets. The railroad assets will replace the long pedestal returns allowed with existing new investments of the and the using of the predecessor cost for the higher acquisition costs assumed for the funds replacement and the generated advance for investment. However, the investors reasonably expect the earn the competitive return with the capital return attracted with the required for the accumulation of the fund advance for the reinvestment and not necessary. I still got four more pages to read this one. <laughs> All right, replacement cost appreciation approximation. Sir, so, um, some of the argued predecessors are caused with the um, replacement because because of the replacement cost of the railroad goods greater than the predecessors of the acquisition cost. The predecessor cost of the greater than the acquisition cost of the experience of the effective railroad. The assertion assertion is not you know, universally true, but is observed by many other industries. And the predecessor cost is easily be lower, but the government accounting auditing process cost. Some of the argued uh, that the, any of the change of the original cost in ABS asset basis will produce a result with differ from the replacement cost investment modes of the static. Um, um, investment models may be used to demonstrate the replacement of the cost investment base and use the conjunction with real cost of the capital rate, producing the results identically with the cheap of the use of the original product of the cost investment base conjunction with the nominal cost cap ca capital rate. However, the argument does not recognize the certain evidence that take place with rec required recognition of regulatory assessment measures. To example, the changes must be recognized with the permanently underutilized earnings of the impaired assessment usually that should be valued higher of the net liquid, va liquid value of the present value of the net cash flow with those the assessed. The cash um, assets can generate the presence of the use success with the redundant assets should be eliminated with the investment um, base. In purchase of the transaction government accounting auditing principal cost implicitly the permanently underutilized earnings apparent with the express um, redundant excess for the higher net liquid value of the present value of the net cash flow for the excess can be generated the present use on um, the values um valuization results for the market of the marketplace sufficient measure for the underlying with the economic value of the valuation appropriate for the underutilized impact earnings impaired with the asset the valuation lesser predecessor their costs effectively and properly including the excess of the assets for the assessment base and minimized. Comparable treatment and consider the alternative approach to the assess of the valuation of comparable assets that should be um, occur occurred um, comparable treatment and such as the treatment practical under acquisition cost of all the assets acquired with the combined with the value of the ETH fair market with the regardless of the accounting of the method of the required with the value of the assets comparable to the government accounting auditing practice principles. On the other hand, consider the assets acquired in the purchase with the combined with the pooling with the represents essentially different to the transaction, thus the assets not comparable to the tree of the given the comparable treatment how the rare railroad accounting principles board believe the practical considerable are greater than points with the comparable with the circumstances associated with the pooling sufficient difference within um, warrant different accounting treatments. Sim simple similarity, the um, permanently impaired assets should be according to comparable treatment whether the assets are written down or involuntary through the sale of record, record words, re reorganization or voluntary where the involuntary 
written down with the excess assets of the curve of the part of the purchase reorganization that uses the present assessor cost effective to notify the effect of the written down unless the assets are voluntary written down at the later date. However, in such a case, the railroad has um, a benefit to the inflated investment base on, until the voluntary write, voluntarily write down is taken. The other hand, the voluntary write down of the assets may be a railroad management recognizing and assessing assets, the reducing that evaluation is issued by the associated loss recognized by the earnings for the revenue adequacy purposes for the interstate commerce commission um determines the government accounting auditing principal cost of the appropriate for the particular application regular application of the interstate commerce to achieve the comparable or will be may find it necessary to presume remove estimated access assets over the predecessor costs all right, windfall earnings. Permitting the competitive the return of the investment greater than the actual made with the success of the provided the entity with the opportunity to return the greater with the cost of the capital with the windfall is not guaranteed but the representative of the opportunity was not available to the investor. Competitive the enterprise of the return of the regulation um, rests on the presumption of the current certain monopoly power for that must be held within check. On, other, the, uh, on, on the other hand, the government accounting auditing per, 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 um, principles purchased the accounting with the investor payment and they, more than the book value of the success of railroad enterprise may be allowed to change charge higher rates than the competitive shipments than under the predecessor costs. All right, pra practically verifiable, they would not consider uh, explicitly augmented by the exposed um, draft. They particularly data interchange integrity on um, principles di directly affect with the selection of the uh, and order and a historical cost method. Many of the commentators were concerned with the particularly verifiable in using acquisition process of the pooling in light of their concerns with the rare accounting principle board to deceased decided the address was practically verifiable with the three alternatives explicit. Some commenters stated that applying the acquisition um, the cost for the assets acquired for the pooling and subject with the relies and extends with the judgment that noted for the absence of the purchase transaction notes with no record supporting the transaction price. Furthermore, reliance for the market rate of elevation time of the pooling of the cause of the valuation fluctuating wildly because of the violated with the equally equity of the markets. Commentary commenta common commenters also rated the concern for the merits of applying with market value with the valuation of power of both parties and pooling stated with such application result in a different measure with resulting from the purchase of which other only the purchase parties re revalue. The government accounting principle um, represents the most practical, verifiable historical method mo because of the records used to support the same with the use of the current map, maintain the records and the support of the financial account with the printing of the pool with the railroad accounting principle, or the practical um, problems associated with the accounting cost. The predecessor cost requires the maintenance of separated predecessor cost of the required record currents maintained under the uh, Interstate Commerce Commission on the basis of the annual submission of the railroads. Our depreciation accounting of the restatement of the track assets developing an economically, economically accurate cost of virtually all parties endorsed for the use of the annual experience of the expenses prepared with the accordance for the government accounting automating principles recognized for the need for the adjusting government auditing principles generated the capital cost of three elements for the capital cost or evaluation of capital asset basis. Method of recognizing annual expenses um, for the consumption of the assets, the return of the investment, the annual capital charge with required or, or, or recovered or re return of investments. The Interstate Commerce Commission has introduced the depre depreciation accounting in the stages. Um, the railroad had been used for the depreciation accounting in either the R1 reports of the Interstate Commerce Commission for before 1983 railroads used the replacement retirement board method for the accounting with the track structure unit until 1986 the Interstate Commerce Commission retained from the using of the railroad retirement board method for reviewing adequacy revenue adequacy. The government purchasing purchase um, cost system by returning the railroads to furnishing supplementing the railroad retirement um, better um, Betterment data in nineteen in December thirty first, nineteen eighty six edition ex parte number three oh three standards of railroad reinvent revenue adequacy and to the ICC and the the using our um railroad retirement board railroad retirement betterment revenue adequacy determinations. Under the Railroad Retirement better, um, Betterment Method, the acquisition cost of the investment record, recorded the books as well as non-particular assets, non-depreciation non expense taking out of the estimated useful life um, while in the replacement the uh, has a similar quality the entire cost of the replacing is charged with the operating um 
dispense only an increment and poor better um better portion of the new asset is added to the bet books best assets assess retired with the acquisition cost of the original investment including the betterments that are charged the expense and the valuation of the RRB and the railroad accounting principal board um board and then notes the problem and shortcoming impaired with the attractiveness of the railroad retirement betterment. Under the certain inter commerce commission, the procedure for the railroad must maintain a report in two separate set of books of the track assets. The continue the use of the railroad retirement and betterment with the revenue accuracy with the purpose of the no longer conform with the government accounting auditing principles. While some of the more sensitive inflation of the de depreciating accounts of the railroad railroad retirement board does not accurately measure the cost of estimates consumed with the pro providing the services of the asset base that devoted with the railroad services. Under the depreciation accounting method, many of these shortcomings either they are non, non applicable or come can be overcome. Some of the some of the railroads converted with the depreciation accounting with the financial accounting with the R one reporting purpose of the depreciation accounting and the revenue adequacy determination alleviates the need for the second set of books to support the railroad retirement betterment. The depreciation accounting is cost is consistent with the government accounting auditing principles. While not so sensitive, sensitive inflation used, the depreciation accounting reduces the many many of these concerns for the inflation when used the nominal cost of the capital rate. As a rule of the result, the depreciation accounting restatement procedure for the industry pattern of the track replacement of the difference between the return on the investment measure for the using the retirement retirement railroad retirement betterment board and the depreciation accounting are not sufficient uh, significant. The railroad accounting principal board concluded that depreciation accounting is more economically accurate. Um, the railroad accounting principal board considered the second issue regarding the reinstatement of the track asset value for conversion of the DA appropriate with the regulatory purpose of essentially reinstatement of railroads, treating existing tracks, existing with the previous expense with the railroad return, railroad rehabilitating time has been capitalized and depreciated with the preceding results, substantial increase with the depreciate, depreciable deferred tax credit retained in the earnings of the reinvestment and reinstatement of the material time amount of approximately $7 billion added to the asset base. Railroad Accounting Principal Board had several conclusion in the analysis of the restatement. The reinstatement was certain that the track assets because of should change charge the second time to operating expense over the remaining life of the assets. Charge, charging the expense of the twice does not necessi necessarily indicate that the railroads will receive dockable double recovery of the payment from the customer. The restated asset base for the future operating expense for the same the railroads had also been used to depreciating accounts for the track structure. The Railroad Accounting Principal Board concludes that the depreciating accounts with the reinstatement of the track assets more economically accurate with the certain parts of the question of the fair part of the, uh, permitting the to railroads to opportunity to recover the sale of the billion tracks resulting from the reinstatement determination appropriation appropriate with the alternative regulatory purposes was the rest of the Interstate Commerce Commission, which should review the intermediate public participation with all interested parties. Excess asset it's in right now. So, um, since assets, excessive assets investments based on the inaccuracy of the return on investment and the depreciation expense calculations, all commentators agree that those assets should be identified and eliminated from the asset base of the identified with the two different approaches to the consideration reliance of the existing professional accounting practices, Securities and Exchange Commission's guidance, and the regulatory study of the investment um, of the inve investigation of the, of the base of the Barrero Accounting Principal Board. I believe the first approach is an adequate WE pass in our AC Littleton in their introduction to the corporate accounting standards um, 1970 pointed out that if it had become an apparent that the effective service life of an, an asset has been seriously um, curtailed with the unexpected obsoles obs um, obs obsoleteness and other specific fa factor the accurate depreciation of the date of ad ad adequate recognition for the additional cost expiration need not should not await the actual retirement to the postpone the special write down of the situation would be mean avoiding the recognition of the law already suffered would be likely to be paid on an operating charge for losses of the losses of the future. Um, thus, these assets should be written down whether the earning capacity per um, permanently impaired, whether these case for the economic useful, the write down with the treated with loss, and should be clearly reported in the income statement. The write down with the impaired assets and consistent with the um, Security of Exchange Commission's uh, requirements that though some of the discounted um, future cash flows will be less than the net book value or SS is written down with the recommended with the general accounting principle. 
Similarly, the traditional regular mean model recognition with the assets being impaired, but there, therefore by the net investment base of the and continually review the purge, purge the investment base assets are not usually useful. However, the contrast person professionally accounting of the principle of the required scrutiny write downs in determining whether the or whether or not whether whether or what manner of recovery should be allowed. Both approaches of the certain degree of the subjection mode with regulatory investigation believed not impractical. Investigator did not interest financially interest out of the impact partially may not result in material improvement in inaccuracy of the low exemption of the improved the accuracy combined with the material higher costs. Regulatory investigation papers concluded the reliance professional accounting principle of the um, Security and Exchange Commission guidance, for example, the volunteer write downs railroad industry numerous in 1986. Five larger railroads wrote down normally nearly $2 billion in assets before these write downs. The railroad industry had maintained no material access capacity existed, and the extent of the material access capacity still exists. The industry should identify the eliminate it from the investment base. Railroad Accounting Principal Board also concluded the write down of the excessive railroad related assets operating with the income the operator appropriate professional accounting practices rigorously. However, the Railroad Accounting Principal recognized the determination of the asset valuation issue for the sum of the alternative of the non government accounting auditing principal valuation methods such as predecessor cost months seriously affected with the certain aspects uh, assets. Moreover, the small improvements in accuracy may be material. Further adoption of any of the, uh, these alternative methods would require, therefore, additional analysts of the treatment excess of the assets. Application, applications effect of the asset evaluation related to the expense of the principal effects the specific regulatory application addressed by the Railroad, railroad Accounting Principal Board. Chapter 8, Productive principle, Productivity Principle.